chatting away, waffling away as, as one does for about five minutes and realised that uh, I hadn't turned the the Rode Go microphone on the on the side on. Well, I had pressed the button, but obviously I hadn't pressed it hard enough or long enough um, to activate it. And normally I do a sound check at the very beginning by turning the uh, the thing around and then saying testing, testing, or looking at the lines moving across the bottom. And of course, stupidly, I didn't do that until uh, about five minutes into me waffling away. So I'll start again. Right, well, welcome to another video. The, uh, the date is the 16th. I've got the Rolex Explorer 2 um, on with the white dial. You will know from... Um, from a previous video which I would have uploaded from Dartmoor that I've moved my uh, watch content over to a different channel. Hopefully that will please one or two people here. It's not something that I've done willingly as such and it's not something that I've done that I specifically want to do. As I explained in that other video Fingers crossed, hopefully, it's for the better of YouTube, this channel for outdoors and camping, and the better for the watches to have their own space. As I said in the other video, whether I can do enough watch content and whether basically I'm good enough to get enough subscribers and views just on watches alone, We'll see, it might end up costing me, um, to be honest, but I think it's worth giving it, um, I think it's worth giving it a chance and seeing what, you know, what happens and hopefully people will, will watch and in the medium term, you know, it will be for the better of here and for there. Because as I, as I you know, explained in the other video, I'm not, that worried about at numbers but it would be nice to have a little bit more and I think separating the two might help that we'll see anyway so we've done the wristwatch check so of course I will still annoy you and bore everybody on here with a wristwatch check now and again um, and I will still drop hints about watches of course and still have fun with you um, apart from those who don't want to have fun. Um, but the, the actual watch videos I will put on the other channel. Cheers. We're back out just relaxing and, and chilling. Basically, I was thinking of uh, doing a walk this trip, but it's been quite a tiring few um, days and frank frankly, uh, weeks at home. So it's the usual, I'm afraid. I'm just uh, chilling out here. Uh, I am hoping to meet someone in July and maybe try and get to the lakes in September. So I'm kind of like committing myself to that. So, you know, fingers crossed I can get up there and do something a little bit different. In the meantime, I'm more than happy coming here and chilling out and relaxing. And at some point I will go for, <laughs> I will go for a walk when I'm feeling a bit more energetic. I'm just uh, chilling out, like I said, it's, it's middle of the afternoon, two o'clock. Um, I've just been, I don't know if anyone's, uh, I'm sure lots of people have um, Amazon Prime. I've been watching this new Jeremy Clarkson farming thing. It's actually quite good if you, um, even if you're not a big fan of Clarkson, it's quite interesting if you watch Country File or something like that. Um, Clarkson's his usual, um, nutty south um but yeah he's got a massive great farm there now and yeah actually it was really quite interesting it's really really interesting so um i doubt he'll ever watch my video and recommend my video to watch um for for his um well you know what i mean 
Anyway, but yeah, it's definitely worth watching. It's uh, interesting and, and funny. Maybe, maybe, maybe Clarkson ought to invite me to camp in the middle of one of his fields or something like that. That would kind of be like interesting, wouldn't it? I doubt, I doubt, doubt he watches my, <laughs> doubt he watches my nonsense. Although he does have a Rolex watch interest in a Submariner, I think. Um, so there's one common um, denominator there. We're probably, probably both Tories. That's probably another one. <laughs> I know, everyone takes the piss out of me for being a Tory, but never mind, that's fine. <laughs> I'm a big boy, I can take it. All right. I'm going to make a, a tea and uh, carry on with um, Fear the Walking Dead for the minute, and then I'll figure out what I do um, as the afternoon progresses. Thankfully, it's cooled off just a little bit at the moment. It's not as hot um, here uh, this afternoon this morning the cloud wasn't around and the sun was down and it was just baking um bakingly um, hot but thankfully it seems to have just cooled off a little bit okay well we're we're into the evening it's coming up to uh eight o'clock i'm not quite sure where the time has uh has gone to be honest it's uh the day has, has flown by and I've not really done, <laughs> not really done a huge amount. Um, I'm going to have my soup in a minute. I've not even had my soup or something to eat yet and I haven't done anything. It's just the day it seems to have just flown by and I've just been chilling out and then suddenly realised the time. I was doing a couple of small videos earlier, um, but not... I haven't really done, you know, a huge amount. But what I did stop to do, now, I'm doing a time lapse on the GoPro, and that means I'm using, obviously, the GoPro camera plus the big tripod. Now, what I have done is I've brought with me also the very small and light Gorillapod, which is holding this camera here, plus when I'm... Uh, I need the um, the GoPro. Then I'm using, you know, obviously this um, this little gadget here. But I can't put this Sony Alpha 6400 on this. Clearly, there's no way of doing that. <coughs> so I've got it on the GorillaPod, and it seems to be working quite well. Now, why am I talking? Well. It's a very, very good reason for that, and it's this. The reason why I am recording now isn't just to waste your time, <laughs> like I usually do. <clears throat> In one of my videos, I talk about um, clothing and layering and things like that. Well, what I've done to keep weight as low as possible, I've still got my socks on which of course I wear plus my my lightweight leggings and this time I brought with me my very very light Mountain Laurel Designs quilt this one is the uh, quilt 48 so it's very small and compact and lightweight it's uh, synthetic, but of course, as I'm a freezing cold sleeper, as last night showed, even though I doubt the temperature went that low, I do have a bag liner, which I, I didn't need last night, but I'm going to put it to the side of this um, quilt. So if perchance it does get too cold and I cool off, then I have this extra layer. What I did last night is... I wore a t-shirt, which I wore a tiny bit this morning when it was very, very warm. And then I switched over to a long sleeve shirt, which you would have seen in a different video. And then I wore a merino. This is in bed, <laughs> not during the day. It was far too hot today, but the evenings definitely cool off. So in the evening, I then wore 
this merino long sleeved zipped top hopefully you can still hear me i'll put the microphone on this now now i'll probably be fine with this amount t-shirt and this long sleeve top i'll probably be okay like this for an hour or so especially now that i'm inside the quilt but last night i did get quite cool i'm not quite sure what the temperature went down to uh last night i'll maybe have a quick look in a minute but i did bring a lightweight fleece with me and i wore that now this did a good job until around about two o'clock and then at two o'clock i found that i was a bit on the cool side so that's when i then put my down jacket on and the down jacket and the fleece kept me quite comfortable i do have and i must admit i forgot about it um last night but i i didn't need it luckily but i did forget about it i did bring my wind shirt with me so if i found that my fleece and my down jacket wasn't enough then i could put the wind shirt over the fleece and then the down jacket over that and it would just give an extra layer of warmth and somewhere i'm not quite sure where it is here it is my trusty beanie and i put that on at two o'clock this morning i didn't need it until two o'clock but at two o'clock my head was because i was feeling a bit cold my head wasn't cold but because i cooled off at about two o'clock i just put this on my head and that just uh, helped warm <laughs> just helped warm the bonds up a little bit so for the moment i was cooling off because i was basically in my underwear and a t-shirt and i had the the other the second door open on the duo mid i've closed the second door i've put up the internet which i had collapsed down for the day there doesn't at the moment appear to be bugs flying around which is uh good there was a few bugs yesterday mind you yesterday i didn't yeah yesterday i was here at this time setting up so for the moment i'm plenty warm enough even just sitting up with a t-shirt and this long sleeve shirt on the second i start to cool off and i probably will knowing me then i will put my fleece on which i've got here and then if i get cold in the night i've got my down jacket and that should keep me warm and cozy for the night of course as always just be cautious of ticks now i've never ever in the 10 years i've been coming here had a tick on me now last time or the time before i found a tick walking up my trouser leg and i knocked it off and earlier on this afternoon i found a tick starting to burrow into my leg and that's the first time I've ever seen a tick actually getting into my skin virtually. Now, luckily, I spotted it early and I was a little bit worried because I think I've got some tweezers. I got tick removers, but it was so small. I don't, don't think tick removers would have got it off. Um, but I, I'm thinking, hoping that I have tweezers. Now, if I don't, that's probably something I ought to add in. Um, and then just literally just now I found another one crawling on my sleeping on the quilt so I've just moved it off now I'm just going to look at the temperature to see what it was six o'clock was 10 degrees so it's actually been it's been very very warm today in the sun but we'll see at 12 o'clock 27 degrees Okay, well that's that um, little bit of excitement over with. <laughs> Let's see what time, what uh, the temperature drops down to tonight. 
So if this quilt is a 48 degrees, so this bag should be rated about, this quilt is rated around about 10 degrees, something like that. Around about 10 degrees last night and I had a t-shirt, a long sleeve merino on, a fleece and a down jacket. <laughs> And that's in this 48 Fahrenheit bag, which in centigrade is around about 10 degrees. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, right, okay. I think it's time for some soup and then something to eat. And by that time, it'll probably be uh, sleepy bye-bye's time. See you tomorrow.